Right, so our teenage opening film, uh, we, fact, we originally didn't have a title for it, we've kind of stuck with one called Really, with a question mark, uh, but we're not quite set on it just yet. Um, unique set of points is, a couple of these we've changed recently though, um, we're going to have like a main character almost talks over the film uh, as it starts off, but we might not use that in the end. Uh, doesn't quite show a happy, lucky sort of team as someone portrayed, so he's quite down his luck, nearly all inspired. Um, talks about one or two sensitive subject matters, like kind of what would you rather do, go to school or start working. Um, we might also be talking about certain drug abuse, maybe. Uh, for the production company and logo, we went with Older Brother Productions. Uh, so we went with an older brother holding a little hand of the little brother to kind of emphasize what the main character is going to be about as he looks after his little kids, little, little brother and sister. Rough plot line is at the moment. We have the main character wakes up in his house. Um, the counted stereotype as his room is fairly tidy and he'll tidy up. Uh, then he makes sure he gets his little brother and sister ready to get ready to go to school. He'll then go to look after his mum, who is fairly ill. He'll then he'll then go to take his little brother and sister to their school. Um, then dropping them off. Then he. Um, bumps into a fellow classmate and is revealed that he hasn't been going to school for a couple of weeks as there's no income coming in for the house, as there's no father. <coughs> um, and you'll then have to yeah, you then have to make either a choice of whether to try and go to school that day with his friend who he bumped into or go out with his other friend who he also bumped into. Um, to go out on the street to sell products to try and make some income for his house. Um, one thing we had, we thought originally, but realised we couldn't quite shoot, was as he had got into, as he went out to go sell his product, he would um, get caught by the police. We can't quite do this as we'll need actual officers, and granted, they would have better things to do. Uh, characters. Uh, we've, got, uh, we've got Ben playing the main character, uh, so he, he's going to quite wear stereotypical male clothes of sort of torn, scruffy, baggy sort of clothes, sort of jumpers, jeans. Uh, he'll always be tired. <coughs> uh, however, his camp stereotype would be his attitude, so he will complete all the responsibilities given to him. So he'll wash up, he'll clean up, he'll make sure his brother and sister are all ready and make sure they're safe. And he'll, but he has no father figure at all, so he is the man of the house. Um, we then have a female lead, roughly the same age. Um, she's more of a friendly, but by the books sort of person, so she will want to go, she wants to go to school, she wants to learn, and she wants her friend, Ben, to be there with him. Uh, she would wear sort of smart, uh, neatly dressed, so sort of skirts, um, not scruffy, all the right size for her, and and is upset by the fact that Ben has given up on his education. We then have Lewis, uh, another teenager, roughly the same age as Ben. Uh, he'll be a stereotype for. Um, as he'll be wearing baggy, loose-fitting, kind of chabby-looking clothes. And uh, he see, he's friends with Ben, but he's more of a partner than friend, so he kind of wants to use Ben to exploit him, but does want Ben to be with him. Uh, his attitude will be quite carefree, but he'll be a bit moody at times, especially when he doesn't get what he wants, and he wants Ben to give up on his education and just solely help him with his drugs trade. 
Uh, we've got we've got two young kids playing, um, Mason and Bo. Uh, they're just the young siblings. They're just the brother and sister of Ben. So they're going to be wearing school uniform. They'll be quite happy and chirpy, and be quite stereotypical for kids from about nine to ten. And uh, yeah, we'll have me and Callum just pumping as extras in the background. Uh, Callum, as you wrote it, um, playing a customer of playing a customer for Lewis, uh, wearing dark clothes that provide provide a shape a shape appearance, and I'll be um, my character is just roughly just there to advance to get Christine away from Ben. So the genre of conventions for the trailer, we're going to be cross-cutting and editing for conversations between characters. Uh, we were originally going to have voiceover, we might still stick with that, but we can't quite figure out how to put that in there just yet. Uh, we're going to have it quite fast-paced to begin with to sort of reflect on a typical teenager's life, but we'll slow down on certain scenes so the audience can get more invested into it. Uh, the opening film conventions will be slightly quick um, to show the characters' lives, to give them a brief introduction without revealing too much on them. So when Ben wakes up, he'll have a slightly tidy room, but he'll have to quickly hide something so his mum doesn't realise how he's getting all this income. Um, yeah, we've got title, our title conventions, so this is all our fonts for our title, so if we're sticking with really, this is roughly what we're going for, so more of a spray painting, graffiti sort of thing. Music we haven't quite decided yet, but we want it to be quite typical, almost not quite upbeat, um, upbeat to begin with, but then sort of to change as the scene goes on into more of a sort of not depressing more mood, but less typical to find in a teenager film. Our target audience will be between, well we originally put it as 12 to 18, but we might change it to 15, just as they'll probably be able to relate with it a bit more and understand some of the themes and understand why certain people are doing this <coughs> and why, they, why some of the characters have done their choices. Uh, Setting the locations. Setting the location, we've got the classic for the teenager's bedroom, which would have included being tidy and organised. There's outside of the playground, there's a bridge we have put as being on Cromwell Road near Hembrook River, and a school environment, which would probably be the reception of the school. Yes. Yeah, we'd, use, we'd, yeah, we'd use all that just so people can see that this is a teenager's film as a school environment, it's very typical, and just walking to school, certain people have got quite a fair way to walk along. So, that's it.